Honourable speakers, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, the SEC Thailand or Security and Exchange Commission Thailand is very pleased for the debate of the first cloud funding Asia Thailand summit today in Bangkok. In the perspective of Thai capital market regulators, we consider that this kind of event fulfills our objective in fostering Thailand's competitiveness and sustainable development. The current world economic linkages, market mortalities, rapid changing environment, and advanced technology have both more intensified competition. Consequently, many countries have placed emphasis on innovative and creative economy. As a key factor in adding, adding value to products and services and uplifting competitive advantage and sustainable development. Anyhow, innovative and creative business always face capital accessibility problems without hard assets. It is difficult for them to get loan from financial institutions. Here comes crowdfunding. In today's high technology society that allows things to be easily done or communicate via internet and social networks, crowdfunding has become popular and be a democratic funding option I call democratic capitals for small and medium-sized enterprises, especially seed or startup business worldwide, particularly in the, the United States, many countries in Europe, and high technology-based countries. It provides innovators and entrepreneurs with accessibility to financial sources more easily than traditional loan from financial institutions. Plus, also no restriction on investment sizes. Apparently, there is a drastic growth of fundraising through crowdfunding from, from 1.5 billion US dollars in 2011 to 5.1 billion US dollars in 2013. Before moving on, I'd like to point out why we bring up crowdfunding to your attention. Of course, not just global trend as mentioned. Ladies and gentlemen, Thailand is a product, production driven economy, relying heavily on exports, exceeding more than 70% 70, 70 of GDP. Why the export growth so low? gradually deterioration over the past, the past few years. Furthermore, our country has been stuck in middle income trap for decades. To strive forward, Thailand has to make transition from the production driven economies to a value driven economies by developing the following four key base dimension economies, compressing the first one, connectivity-based economies. Second one, the digital-based economy. The third one, knowledge-based economy. And the fourth, creative-based economy. The first dimension, connectivity-based, will not be quite difficult due to Thailand's static location. We are fortunate that our country is located at the heart of ASEAN and midway between two giant new economies, China and India. Its borders also connect both the Pacific and Indian Oceans. This means Thailand is a gateway to more than half of the world population, or 3 million people, compressing 1.4 million in China and 1.2 billion in India, and 600 million in ASEAN. This could definitely offer promising business 
and investment opportunity for Thailand. What will we do? Recently, several infrastructure development projects have already been launched, such as road and train system. We have financial tools such as financial infrastructure funds and its securitization. This aim at making available inland infrastructure to connect with international counterparts and turning Thailand into the regional economic bridge. But the less tree-based dimension and tremendous effort and resource, basically, our capacity building should be expanded to cover all types and size of business across the country. A few years ago, only 7% of listed companies of Stock Exchange of Thailand are located outside Bangkok. In fact, Thailand has many businesses in other provinces that have potential and capability to go public, but not yet do so. We also have nearly 3 million SMEs gathering 37% uh, of GDP, 28% of total export value, and 78% of the national employment. That's why SEC see this as a priority to pave the way for Thailand to strive forward to attain the later three base dimension economy that is digital, knowledge, and creative based economy. In this connection, SEC has offered opportunities for business and SME, including seed or startup businesses in area of science, technology, innovation, as well as local wisdom, art, culture, creative based business, such as software house, movies, digital contents, animation industry, to raise fund through capital market. To serve this purpose, the SEC launched business incubation project and a financial vehicle, such as private equity trusts, or PE trusts, to draw their attention to enable them to raise funds through capital market for their business expansion and competitiveness with opportunity to connect to international counterparts and be able to successfully capture world markets. Apart from the set tools, we observed possibilities of crowdfunding as a democratized access to financial funds, funding option in at least three dimensions as follows. Firstly, for businesses, crowdfunding democratize access to capital. They are easily accessed to funding sources and have opportunity to survey the market and obtaining testing uh, feedbacks from audience for products and service development purposes. Secondly, for investors, crowdfunding democratize access to great ideas. They will have greater investment opportunities with more varieties of investment alternatives for risk diversification. Thirdly, for service providers, this is a chance for relevant business incubator agency such as Business Incubator Center of the National Science Technology Development Agency to find more potential technology business in our country as system start up in their early stage and incubate them to grow and turn their idea into high value and innovative creative business. Fourthly, for capital market, this will allow greater access for business and public to make use of capital markets. Increased number of potential listed companies with good governance and high quality accounting and auditing standards. Lastly, for the nation, the increasing number of entrepreneurs and high value and innovations creative business that lead 
to job creation and employment. We will certainly help getting Thailand out of the middle income traps, reducing the gaps. Meanwhile, gaining high international recognition in terms of quality or asset class. For Thailand, despite some success cases, we are in the state of crowdfunding frameworks, development, and among four basic types of crowdfunding. The first one, donation-based crowdfunding, where contributors' fund is given to a fundraiser without any expectation of the financial returns the second, reward-based crowdfunding, where contributors' fund is given to the fundraiser in return for product of such fundraisers. The third, peer-to-peer lending-based crowdfunding, where investor fund is lent to a fundraiser in return for interest and repayment. Fourth, investment-based crowdfunding, where investor fund is invested in return for share and debenture issued by such fundraiser. Only the, uh, the last categories, which involve security offerings, either debt or equity offerings, for within the scope of ACC supervision. The ACC recently conduct public hearings throughout the last year on crowdfunding supervision, we wish to allow enterprise to offer for sales of share and debenture to regulated funding proposal with lower cost and appropriate level of investor protection. The proposed supervision framework covers supervision on funding portal operation and suitability tests in order to mitigate fraud risks and ensure that investors will be informed of risks associated with investment in SME, in particularly startup and liquidity risk. Ladies and gentlemen, we will soon come up with clear picture of regulatory framework and policy to support the growth of crowdfunding the potential of startups and small business, the structure of funding portal, for instance. Although what I have just stated is the case of Thailand, but I trust that you can use it to apply to your business and your country. I wish all the distinguished participants more enlightening deliberation, fruitful information, and valuable experience. I also hope that this two days event, Crowdfunding Asia Thailand Summit, will help strengthen our collaboration and support to enhance competitiveness of many potential business and create an effective network for development of crowdfunding in this region. Lastly, this kind of crowdfunding summit in Thailand, which brings about such a holistic gathering like today, cannot be happen easily. This is the first one that we can do it. For a corporation like this, it be further materialized. Ladies and gentlemen, may I make a proposition for your consideration to develop a more concrete cooperation among us by setting up of a self-disciplined organization, I call SDO, not SRO, called Crowdfunding Thailand Societies, compressing or related parties, such as fund portal services providers, innovator companies, incubators, financial advisors, and curators the one who tell the stories, so as to foster and speed up the concrete outcome on crowdfunding development. We have to strive forward under one big umbrella in terms of learning, 
infrastructure, framework, payments, and many issues to accomplish the ultimate goal for our country and for our region. Thank you.